So the one video that I realized I hadn't really making a video for or doesn't make sense. The topic that I hadn't made a video for was the updating of the Plex media server application on a Synology network attached storage device. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay. So, so here we have Plex media server and here we have the icon in the upper right hand corner that shows it needs to be updated. Now, when you click that, it actually shows both servers that I have associated with my account. It has Shadow Moon down here, which is currently up to date. And then we have Edith here, which does require a server update. Now, Edith is actually the Plex Media Server instance that is hosted on my Synology network attached storage device. That's this one. It's the DS920 Plus. And the update method is a little bit different than you typically would with a Linux distro, like I've shown in the past. What we need to do is to download the package and then manually install it in Synology's package manager application. So it's saying you're currently running version 1.31.3.6868 on server Edith. Version 1.3206918 is now available. This update will need to be installed manually after download. So you go here, download the SPK file, press save. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Heimdall here go over to my network attached storage device type in my credentials i'm gonna go to the synology package center i'm gonna look for plex I'm gonna click that I'm gonna do manual install this button right here going to select the file that we just downloaded, the SPK. Click next. Gives you a little bit of warning saying that this is provided by a third party developer and not to, and is not verified by Synology, uh, blah, blah, blah. You could click cancel. If you want to just undo all the work you just did. So just press agree. Press done. It's going to say updating for a little bit here. Installation successful. Press OK. Shows you that it's running. You can select back over here to Plex. Click Live TV. Go over to Edith, shows here that the version is 1.320.6918 and that it is up to date.